Okay, I'm a little bit aggravated. It's my second time recording. Audio didn't record in the last one, so whatever. Hey yo, what's up guys? It is me, Zane, back here with another video. So some of you might know, or if you don't know, I have a second YouTube channel that I upload content on that relates to music, such as isolated vocals or extracted vocals from popular songs used for mashups or remixes. It's called Zane Burko Music if any of you guys are interested, so I'll right there there I, I don't know many people on that channel like asked me like oh how do you extract the vocals so well how do you how do you do that it's it's so weird like so hard and it's actually not that complicated today i'm going to be teaching you guys how to extract vocals i know that none of you on this channel asked for it but i need to make video i have 14 days it's corona time bro it's corona time so far this week has been pretty crap i'm in quarantine for 14 days i've already gotten two copyright strikes <laughs> So the things that you'll be needing to extract vocals are obviously a computer, the official instrumental. This is the most key essential thing. Without the official instrumental, you cannot do this. I'm not talking about no a remix. Oh, I, I can't say that. You guys need the official instrumental released by the producer. So the most trusted source is, shout out to my boys, hipstrumentals.com. So they always release the official instrumentals that they get from the actual producers. That's where you're going to want to head on to. They have the official authentic instrumentals. You're also going to be needing a program called Audacity and Utago. That is U-T-A-G-O-E. Utago. So probably most of the audio is going to be cut out from this video because of a uh, copyright. I can't be messing with no copyright. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Two copyright strikes this week. If I get one more, my channel's deleted forever. Find an instrumental. For today, I'm going to be using Oprah's bank account by Lil Yachty, Drake, and the baby. Let's go. So what you're first going to want to do is drag the instrumental. You're also going to be needing the song that you're using, but in MP3 format. And then you're just going to want to drag right in there the Oprah's Bank account original. Once you're here, what you're going to want to do is see the top, like the name with like the little arrow. Click on that, go down to split stereo to mono. Repeat the same process for the second track. And now delete the second and fourth track. Don't ask why, I don't know. You know what I hate about recording something for the second time? You always think that the first time was better. Boring. What you're going to want to do is zoom in using control one. So now you've zoomed in and now you're going to be wanting to switch to the time shift tool by pressing F5 and drag the second or first, whichever you prefer, track and match it up. So I'm going to break down the process for you guys. Once it's being imported into you to go, once the two tracks match up, it detects that some waveforms are the same and similar to each other. It will detect and remove those frequencies and give us a result of the vocal track. Does that make sense? We need to be very precise if you want a really good result. So we're gonna have to even go even closer, zoom in even closer, and use our time shift. If you think we're close right now, nah, -uh. we're gonna get even closer. So continue pressing that zoom in key tool and get your time shift tool and drag it. You're gonna know that you're close once you see the waveforms in little lines with dots on them. That's perfect. If you're at that state, stay there. So go and drag either the top or the second to match up the little dots and the waveforms. So if you can't tell, zoom in more and just uh, drag it till they match up. So as you can see, they're now matched up because those two are matched up and those three look the same, those whatever. So now you're done with the matching up and you're gonna wanna just zoom out. Now you're gonna wanna take your selection tool, the first tool that you were initially using and click and drag down and then drag to the side. Press your delete key and do that for the opposite side too. Basically what you're doing is if you were to leave those extra spaces, they wouldn't be matched up. So by erasing that empty space, they now start at the same time. So once you're done with that, you're gonna wanna press solo, double click, file, export, wave it needs to be a wave file you're gonna want to name your track the song name but put i at the end of it for instrumental that gives you to go an idea of that that's an instrumental track and that's uh, the original track so name it song i repeat the same steps for the original one press solo double click file export wave and name it the same exact thing that you just named it before, 
but O for the original song. You're done for audacity. Close that shit. Close it down. Close it down. You're done. You're dead. You're now gonna wanna open U to go. So you're gonna wanna click your wrench tool and drag the top one, drag it to about 3.6. Press OK, you're done. Now for the top selection tool, click on the folder and navigate and select your original track. So you're gonna wanna navigate to song name O, whatever. So I've already done this whole process because I had to record this twice. Go to song name O, double click on that. And once you've done that, you to go will actually detect the song name I and then already makes the output for you. So it's basically only one step that you're doing. It then will name your vocal track underscore vo for vocals. Now all you gotta do is press that little green button. Okay, so I have to rename mine, whatever. Now you're all set. So you should be left with the result of only the vocals. I can't actually play them right now, but I promise you this isn't BS. I just, it's too risky. I'm gonna delete my YouTube channel if I do. So I can't get another copyright strike. So it does work guys. Please let me know what video I should do next. Guys, I have like 14 days. I like It's Corona time, boys. Let me know what you want me to do. Just it has to be inside the house. I can't like go outside. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys later. Peace. Subscribe to Zen Buckle. <laughs>